<laughs> it is a bit. Adaptation. <laughs> Hello. Hi, right, guys. Everyone caught their breath? Here we go, yeah. Very good. I think uh, we talked about that, about play with enthusiasm these games, play with the right attitude and commitment, and they certainly show that. So I'm um, very happy to be in the, in the quarterfinals. Unbelievable strike from Ethan. I mean, how is his development going at 17 that he can come in and take a game on like that? He did it yesterday in training, so we're getting used to that. Uh, he's a big talent, he's got the right attitude, he's right, got the right players and context around him, and uh, we need to make sure that we put brick by brick in the right tempo, in the right order, but we have some players there. We have to kind of, I suppose, stifle a bit the excitement about him, or do you like to let that cross? Yes, but, uh, you know, he's going to really dictate how fast uh, that's going to go, but I'm really, really happy with him. What type of character is he? Sorry? What type of character is he? Will you say something about what he's like as well? Well, so much personality there. You know, he wants to import himself. He wants every ball. He wants to make things happen. Um, outside, around the boy, is still a bit quiet, as usual. He's 17 years old. Very respectful. Uh, his work ethic is is tremendous, and he loves what he does. You can tell that. Yeah, it was since January, I think. So uh, it's been a long time. That's gonna, I think, unlock that thing mentally and um, and move on. But I think I had a good performance tonight. Well, double substitution at halftime. Was either of those enforced or not? No, it was planned. So obviously we have a lot of issues in the back line. Uh, we wanted to share the minutes because we we lost Gabi, we lost Ben as well on top of the other players. So uh, we have to make sure that we wanted to be competitive, but we had to make sure as well that we protect players because we have a lot of games coming up now. Jordan? Let me tell uh, Ethan again, not so I spoke to show you, right? You are late. We already talked about him, eh? That's a fine for you guys. Uh, yeah, but he's had two goals against Bolton. Yeah. Goal tonight. You know, are we seeing someone really on the verge of making a breakthrough? Certainly. If not, he wouldn't play tonight. He wouldn't play three days ago against Liverpool. He's there. I think uh, he's showing every day what he's capable of. And uh, you see his teammates, they give him the ball all the time. That's a great sign. So. We have some player there. Kaya? How are you doing the last about Gary Jesus as well? He was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good. For you, I repeat myself, very happy. I think he's going to unlock uh, that for him. I think he looks really happy. Um, he's performing his attitude as always, but he needs that feeling that he can put the ball in the back of the net. It's on. Okay. Uh, uh, Back at Eastern again, you turn the 17-year-old to World Cup, many pull off a goal like that with the skill, the technique, it's unbelievable as well. It is unbelievable, but he does it in training almost every day. He's got this quality, uh, this personality, he's there to make things happen. He doesn't care he's good around him. If he needs to make the decision for his own, he does it and uh, yeah, he scored a fantastic goal tonight. Okay, we've been tonight with a few players because through injury. Saka coming up, was that just giving those extra few minutes to kind of build back up to his, to his big fitness? Yeah, because when he's in the rhythm, he prefers to, to have that exposure. He travels with us, so he always says that once I'm here, I prefer to play a few minutes as well to protect Gabi as well because he had a, a very big impact in the first half, so it worked out well. Okay, guys, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you.